So about a month ago, my sister called me and told me something that blew my mind. She did a DNA test of 23andMe and found out that we are 30% Jewish. I'm Jewish? What? Hmm. Throughout my life, being black has meant so much to me. In college, I majored in African American studies. I wrote a book about what it means to be black. And now there's a DNA test saying I'm 36% African and 30% Jewish. I don't even know what being Jewish actually means to me. I grew up in a home where we played Marvin Gaye and Aretha Franklin all the time, where there were Ernie Barnes paintings on the walls, where we talked about what it means to be black at the dinner table, where we got to talk about how to survive an encounter with the police. On the other side, I know no Jewish relatives at all. I don't even know where this is coming from in my family. I have a suspicion though. I think it's coming from my dad's side. I was always told that my dad's dad died just before he was born and the pictures of him burned in a fire long before I arrived. My dad passed about two years ago, so I can't talk to him about this. But now with everything I know, I think that his father was actually European and Jewish. So suddenly, I'm part of this tribe. I'm Jewish. The Jewish people I've known have shown me that being Jewish is partly about caring deeply about community and service to that community. It's about caring deeply about education and intellect and the life of the mind. And it's about being proud of being Jewish. And it's about dealing with epic generational pain from the atrocities that have happened in the past as well as the domestic terrorism that happens nowadays. And it's also about a deep spiritual strength from having to rebound from these atrocities. This is similar to what I see in the black community. In both groups there's a steely resilience coming from having to deal with epic generational pain. Both groups are intensely proud. Both groups feel uh, tight-knit and bonded to other people just because of belonging in the group. And in both groups, people are constantly thinking and talking about what it means to be a part of the group and what it means to be a productive and positive part of the group. This is heavy because throughout my life, being black has been central to who I am, where I wanted to live, who I wanted to associate with, how I saw the world. And those things aren't going to change, but I have to start to figure out what it means to be Jewish and to pull some piece of that into myself. And I don't yet know what it means. I'm not going to figure this out in a week or a month. And this sort of figuring out who you are is a huge part of modern adulting. So many of us are embracing the reality that we're complex, we contain multitudes, we are intersectional and hyphenated, and it's hard to fully know who you are when who you are is so many different things. But it's thrilling to see a lot of people getting the chance to live in truth and to explore the multiple parts of themselves and to grapple with the messy complexity of their past because so many of us are so many things. So I'm on a journey to figure out what being Jewish means to me. I don't know where I'm going or where it'll lead me, but I'm ready for a trip into the unknown. If you're grappling with multiple identities in your life, tell me about it in the comments. And if you got something out of this, please like and subscribe so you can see my next video about what it means to be an adult.